Good morning, modern steaders. We're gonna take a trip this morning. We're gonna go run to a fish hatchery, pick up some fish so we can start stocking the ponds up at the off-grid property. Let's go. Nice, we got our trout. Now to head up to the off-grid property. We made it up to the off-grid property. Now we gotta get up above to the pond and get the rainbow trout in the pond. I'm up here by the shipping container cabin. I know we haven't been working on it much lately. It's because we're waiting on stuff. There's so much stuff we're waiting on right now with all of the post-COVID stuff going on. It's hard to get a lot of things. So we have a lot more things going on over here, but we're on hold until those show up. But we have a lot more other projects going on. We have some big things finally coming. Some of these things we've been having in the works since February, and they were supposed to be here in March and just with everything going on, that hasn't shown up. So hopefully next week, that stuff's gonna be here. And we got a lot going on, guys. Let's get on up to the pond. Now we get to find out if the fish survived the ride. I'm hoping the bags didn't pop. No water in this cooler. And no water. Ah, a little bit of water in this cooler. Now we need to take the bags out of the cooler and let them sit and acclimate in the water for about a half hour before we can let the trout into the water. These are rainbow trout. Ooh, they're looking good so far. 
Yep. Get them in the water. I'm hoping if we set them in this little like nook, they can't float off. I'd say they're both about the same temp, so. Go get the other bag, set it here. The nice thing about this pond is it always has fresh water flowing into it, cold spring water, and the fish can't get out of the pond the way it's set up, so it always has good, clean, cold water flowing in, but the fish can't get out of it, which is even better. It's been about a half hour, and these fish are ready to come out. So we got 40 rainbow trouts today. A little bit more than we need for the size of the pond, but I figure with transporting them, a couple might die, and then we're gonna be doing some catching of them. So we wanna make sure we have enough in here. Our pond is covered in pollen today, that's for sure. So these all are around eight to 10 inches long. Look at those, what a beauty. There you go, buddy. This is a big guy. Wow, he's got some girth to him. Look at that. What a beauty. Get him widened up. Watch him swim off. I know, you're at a little bit of a road trip. There he goes. Got that one. Oh, they just need some oxygen. Where? Oh, it's swimming away out, look. Oh yeah, there he goes. They're getting some oxygen up high. They'll get the light back in them. See, there he goes. See ya. Yeah. That was the bag that had a hole in it, so the fish didn't have as much oxygen left when we got here. Like this bag is full of air, so these guys should be in a lot better shape. It's just gonna take them a minute. Oh yeah, look at him, he just darted right off. Mm. These guys got so much more spunk in them. See ya. This way, there you go. Oh yeah, those guys are taking right off. Look at them. See ya. That whole batch took right off, so they're doing good. Awesome. There's one swimming right here. I don't know if you can see it, Gina. Oh yeah, I can see it. Right here. See him? <laughs> right there. He keeps going underneath the gunk. They go.
just need a little wake in and up and they swim off. I'm getting a lot wetter than I thought I would today. Oh, see them? No. Awesome. 40 rainbow trout in our pond. That's going to be another <gasps> sustainable food sauce. You saw that? Yeah, but I don't know if the camera did. Oh my, they're all over here. This guy just came up. Look, I just caught him. Oh no. That's ah. funny. Off you go, buddy. Boom! <laughs> oh, that's, here they, that's so wild. I think I see oh, one left right here. Let's see if I can get them. Usually once I pick them up, they take off. I'm getting wet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What you do for your fish, see? There he goes. He's just taking a little nap. Oh. <sighs> That's it. Here comes one. <gasps> I don't know if I got it. There was one of those two. That's so wild. They're coming up and they're eating all the bugs off the top. So if we come up here, especially at night, they're going to be eating all the top water lures off. Here comes one. Man, that's so. Here comes another one, Gina. Ready? That is so wild. They're way out there too, babe. Wow, this is awesome. I can see one out here. Here comes one. Ready? Boom. Should have brought my bathing suit, I guess. It just did it way back there too. Yeah. I didn't expect to go for that big of a swim today, but man, I am so excited to see all these fish swimming around like this. Our other pond, if you guys haven't seen it, a little bit smaller than this one, but it's really murky. We want to get different fish in, in that pond. This one has always got a clean sauce from the springs filling it. So in the summertime, this is going to be awesome for the trout. But the other one, I at least want to get some catfish and some other kind of game fish. But I'm not having any luck finding hatcheries around here that have those kind of fish. And I haven't had any luck finding hatcheries that ship in the mail. If you guys know of anybody, leave it in the comments down below because we want to get some more fish for the other pond. Oh, there was one. Oh, I just swallowed a bug. So if you guys are new to the channel, this is our off-grid property that we bought last fall. It's been abandoned for whew, eons. The people we bought it from owned it for 30 years. They haven't done anything with it. The people they bought it off of back then logged it and put the road in and put ponds in, and that's all. So this, these ponds have never had any fish put in them that we know of. We tried fishing in them. We didn't do a video on it because we got skunked. We didn't get anything. We tried both ponds. So we're going to stock them both this year. And we are oh, excited. This is awesome watching these fish jump up and swim. I didn't plan on doing this, but I'm going to go swimming in the pond. Because you know what? I'm already wet enough. Trout are still in here. Woo! Oh, they're, they're jumping behind Let's you. Go. They're jumping behind you. There's another one. All right. I just gotta get committed. Woo! Here's one. <laughs> Caught him. You ready, buddy? Oh. Did you see that? This one came up and jumped in my hand when I had this guy. Yeah. There's one behind you. Yeah, over there. Where? Right there. That one? Yeah. This is so wild. It was uh, lying on the ground. So that the first bag of fish that we put in had 20 in it. That's the one that had the hole in it. We dumped them out. I was like, oh no, they're not going to make it. But. There's no fish, they're all off swimming now. I feel good that all these fish are gonna make it. And I was told in like a month, a month and a half, these trout will be eating size. So we'll let them get acclimated here. We'll have to get some fish food so we can come out, throw it in here, and watch them just jump up, and then we can start fishing for them. Hold on.
I can't wait to come up at nighttime now when it's like dusk or first thing in the morning and see these trout jumping. We've never stalked a pond before, so this is a first for us. I'm really excited. This is gonna be awesome. So excited. I need to bring the Kubota up here and mow around the pond. Walking around barefooted, there is a lot of little stubbly things that hurt my feet. I might just be a wimp, but no. maybe no. Not even barefoot, but even sandals. Like we said, this place hasn't had anything done to it for the past 30, 60, 100 years. I'm really not sure. They would mow it with like a brush mower. So this was all pucker brush when we came and checked out the property. So we got to get up here, clean up, finish cleaning up around the pond. We did some brush trimming, but we didn't finish up there. Then we can mow up here. And that's just wild watching these fish jump. It's awesome. I didn't think we'd see them jump at all. I didn't either. I'm gonna try to get some fish food, some floating fish food, so we can come here, throw the fish food, and watch them feed. We're looking forward to doing some fishing up here. Yes. We did notice on the ride up, the creek down below that we had opened up the dam for is back to the height it was before we unblocked the dam. So I don't have time today to go out and see if the dam's plugged or not. We're gonna to have to come back and check on that again and see what's going on because the water's back up that six inches that it, we dropped it. So I'll have to get that taken care of soon. So we're back down here at the creek and like I said, it's up to where it was the other day when we opened up the dam down there. If you can see on the rock, you got the gray area, but that's not that's how high it gets when it really floods. But down low where the water line is in the rock, that's where it was. We had dropped it six inches lower than that, so don't know what's going on. This side's full too, so it's not like this culvert's plugged up. I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but in there, there is a bunch of little brook trout. I don't know if the camera will pick them up or not, but look at all the brookies. They're about yay big. I still want to get down to that beaver dam and see what's going on, but we don't have time. We gotta get back to the homestead. We just drove down from the house lot. Guys, it is looking so good. We're gonna be getting up there and working in a little bit. I didn't want to show it to you yet. I just want to wait and show it to you when they're all done, clearing it and getting it ready, because now we can get up there and start working it. And that'll be any day now. Fingers crossed we don't get a lot of rain, we can get up there, we can start getting it raked out, and we can get a pasture put in. We made it back to the homestead. We want to get Little Man with Camo, our new breeding buck. We want to get Daisy in with Hope's Girls. So we got to do a little switching around with the animals right now. Okay. Hi. What are you doing, mister? <laughs> I know. We're going to get you a buddy over here in a minute. We're stopping bottle feeding them also, so it's another reason why they're talk so talkative right now. They got their last bottle this morning, and now they want more, so. Oh, Miss Daisy. There you go. Daisy's like, nah, my belly's full of hay and grass. I'm content. Mm -hmm. She just wants cuddles. You got a rough life there, Daisy, don't you? So rough. Mm. You can't even stop to get past the building. <laughs> you girls are crazy. 
So I'm in the greenhouse and we have the sides open up, but I also want to be able to have the doors open. So I'll show you what I came up with for a solution for now for that. And I am working on something for the vents too, but that is gonna take a little bit more time. So I purchased um, these, um, they're the magnetic screens that you can put like on your, on your doors. It's not super wide, um, but this is the widest I could find for the length here. So I, it works pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and install one on the other side, but I also have ordered one, a custom one, but it takes a little bit longer to come. So it will be the whole length of the door opening. And I'm just doing it for the one side over here just to see before I go and order another one. So I just had to open the door. So I'll close it up. And it's long enough so there isn't a gap under the door. So first things first, I need to make sure there's no dirt or grime or anything where I'm gonna stick the Velcro so it sticks nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the top bar because I'm hanging the Velcro on the top and down the sides. And yes, I'm gonna use this ladder. Yes, I'm moving up in the world, <laughs> but I will not be the one installing the screens on the vents. That is way too high. Adjust it after it's still crowed. And my ground on this side is a little bit lower, so I'll have to build that up a little bit so it doesn't have that. That side is perfect, and this side is a little bit higher. So I just through. I got my hands full. Just push through. It shuts behind me. I think it's pretty awesome. You chickens ready for lunch? <laughs> or dinner, whatever you want to call it. How many eggs you think today? Um, I'm gonna say 13. I'm gonna say 10. Three. Seven, nine. Nine. There would have been ten, but it looks like one got broken. Oh. Uh, Biscuits and gravy. What are you two doing? They found something good over there to dig for. Yeah, you two girls. Is 
Does he smell good, Pluto? You say hello? What do you ladies think? We need the grass over here to grow a little bit higher and then we'll move you. Soon the grass should be thicker over here. Well, well, well. Go ahead. Go ahead. You broke an egg. Two eggs. Two, four, six, eight, ten. What are you having for dinner tonight? I want to know. I like to have ideas of what other people are doing, so it gives me ideas. Tonight, uh, I just pulled some steak out, and I'm gonna do some potatoes, peppers, and onions on the grill. And that's it, something simple, but good. Perfect. Thank you for the wonderful day. Amen. We're looking forward to having the pond stocked with trout. If you guys have any other fish that we should be stocking in the other pond, leave it in the comments down below. And if you know of where we can get them, leave them in the comments down below. I didn't know how hard it was to find different stocking fish in our area. We can find trout, easy peasy, but everything else I'm not having any luck with. If you'd like to check out our Lumna Acre merch, I'll put a link in the video description down below. We switched over to a new company, so we have some different products. Now we have some coffee mugs, some tumblers, and a few other things. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.